guys welcome back to my channel just filming another grocery haul for you this is the final week of my flybys weekly challenge where you spend fifty dollars each week for four weeks and then you get ten thousand flyby points my partner still has one more week but this is my final week let me know in the comments guys um if you want to guess how much i spent this week in the grocery shop i did pick up some markdown items for example this roast beef silver side it was $6 and then it's marked down to $2.40. So these are great for sandwiches. I might add this to like some type of cold pasta salad. I don't know yet, but there's that. And then I picked up some chicken wings. I haven't purchased chicken wings from Coles for ages because I normally get my meat from either Costco or the butchers. And this was, I think, $8.50 for wings. I remember when wings used to be $4 a kilo. I have purchased the wings from Costco before, but unfortunately I had a pretty bad experience because I purchased the two kilo bulk pack of wings at Costco and it was off. So I'm a bit hesitant to buy wings again at Costco, but all the other meat like steak and stuff is really good at Costco. It's way better than your regular Coles and Bullies, but I haven't had the chance to go to Costco yet. Um, so they, these wings, I'm probably going to lightly season it and air fry it. So that way it saves me from adding more oil to a piece of meat that's already quite fatty. Grapes. I picked up uh, probably 1.2 kilos of grapes or like a little bit over a kilo for $3.80 a kilo. These pork chipolatas and beef chipolatas. I actually haven't had these before, so I figured I would give them a go. It's $6.60 a pack, but they were on a weekly special of two for $12. So I picked up one beef and one pork to try. And they, I'm assuming they're just like normal sausages, but like mini sizes. So this will be easy for me to portion out and put into the freezer as well. Now in my previous grocery haul, you guys would have seen, I purchased quite a bit of beef jerky and I've been going through it so so quickly I'm a little bit ashamed of how quickly I've been going through the beef jerky and seeing as I'm doing this shop on a Tuesday night the sales for the beef jerky are still applicable I believe this is the last night until the new catalog rolls over so I picked up more now I told you guys I purchased one of the barbecue ones to try and oh my god it was delicious I think I like both the barbecue beef jerky and the teriyaki jerky both equally. Seeing as, as I already still have some of the teriyaki beef jerky you guys would have seen in my previous shop, I figured I'd pick up another five of the barbecue flavor just to give me a bit of variety. So they were $5.50 a pack on sale to $2.75. I think I mentioned in my previous grocery haul as well that I like to purchase these to put in my bug out bag to keep in my stockpile and these are a really nice high protein lightweight snack for me to keep in my backpack when I go hiking as well and over here I picked up some cabanossi marked down I think they are normally two dollars or two dollars twenty two dollars ten maybe for a stick um, my deli normally marks down their meats towards the end of the day. So this was marked down to 84 cents. So I picked up two. I'll probably have one for myself and the other one I'll probably cut into small little rounds and portion it out to keep in the freezer for dog training because my dog loves cabanossi. He goes nuts. So my dog's actually trained to obviously take commands without being rewarded with a treat. He often loves pats and cuddles. But when I'm teaching him something new, um, having a tasty treat like Cabanossi really helps. <laughs> and then I also picked up some more beef pies from the freezer section. I think they were $5.60. I can't quite remember. Pies are usually really handy for me to have in the freezer for nights that I'm too lazy to cook. And then over here, I picked up some of the Chinese broccoli. So it's quite a small bunch um, for $2.50. I think it would have been much more cost efficient for me to get that at the Asian grocer, but it was just more convenient for me to get the Chinese broccoli at Coles because I was shopping there and I needed to spend my $50 to get my 10,000 bonus points. 
Oh, for those who don't know, the 10,000 bonus points equates to $50. The Chinese broccoli, I'm probably going to cook some type of pork soup with maybe some dried shiitake mushrooms, maybe dried shrimp, and add in the Chinese broccoli to it. Might even serve it with some dried egg noodles, who knows. Uh, it really depends on what I feel like on the day. And those who have watched my channel quite regularly, you would know my pantry's quite well stocked so I have a lot of dried noodle options and pasta options for me to pick from. So yeah this pretty much wraps up my grocery haul guys. Um, for those who guessed how much this haul costed it was $51 and I think 80 cents or 60 cents. It was a little bit under $52. So that pretty much wraps up my haul. Um, if you guys are new to my channel just a quick recap of what I do on this channel. I generally, generally film grocery hauls, what I cook throughout the week. Every now and then I'll do like a stockpile update video or a stockpile haul. Sometimes I'll go shopping and I'll film that. Um, and sometimes traveling or dining out. So if you're interested in that type of content, please subscribe. Because that way YouTube will notify you when I post new videos. If you're more interested in the short form content, um, content, I also post shorts pretty much on a daily basis as well. Anyways, that's enough of my rant. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Hi guys, so this is a bonus clip for those who watch my videos until the end. So I'm doing a vlog at Hubert or Hubert, however you'd like to pronounce it. It's a French restaurant and they are now offering happy hour. So have a quick look at the menu. I'm trying to record for you guys. This is the atmosphere. This is what the restaurant looks like. Well, to be fair, the restaurant is separated into little portions and this is the bar section. And this is where you can order your happy hour bits and pieces. So you can see here the duck parfait. The normal price is actually usually $28 for the parfait there with croutons. During happy hour, it's $8. So I've got some eel with some bread there, some cured meats, some zucchini flowers. And I even had a dry aged beef burger, which was absolutely delicious. Happy hour is every single day, including weekends from 5 to 6 p.m. I believe. Just double check on the Hubert website. Um, and this is something that they're offering throughout this whole year, I believe. I'm not sponsored by them, but I thought I'd just share this with you guys, especially those who don't want to spend uh, like $400 dinner. Um, this happy hour option gives you a little taste of a few different options without paying the full price. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.